In this tutorial, we'll cover your video surveillance system's camera settings. I'll take you step by step through adjusting your DVR's brightness, contrast, and color settings. This is a quick tutorial, but an important one, which can greatly improve your video quality. We find that many video surveillance systems are installed without any adjustments being made to the camera's color, brightness, or contrast. Since each camera is individually positioned, it's important to make adjustments specific to each camera's environment. For example, cameras placed in shaded areas will require an increase in the brightness setting. In this case, adjusting the brightness can change a dim image into a vibrant and clear image. Some cameras may look fine with the default settings, but you can capture much cleaner video by adjusting these three simple settings. Let's get started. Your video recorder's camera settings for brightness, contrast, and color must be made directly on the DVR itself. These adjustments cannot be made using a remote client. You can follow which buttons are pressed during this tutorial by watching the red highlight which appears each time a button is used on the DVR. Let's start by making adjustments to camera 1. First we must select camera 1 by pressing 1 on the camera selection pad. Now that camera 1 is selected, we just need to press the select button. This will bring up the camera settings we will be adjusting. You can see the brightness setting is currently active because it is highlighted in red. To make an adjustment to camera 1 brightness, we will rotate the jog dial. Rotating the jog dial clockwise will increase the brightness, while rotating the jog dial counterclockwise will lower the brightness you will see the effects of your changes live on the screen. You can also see the changes you're making by the increase or decrease in the bar graph as well as the number of percentage changes. Here I'll move camera one brightness to 60 percent. A 60 percent adjustment on this camera view is adequate to make up for the shadows. With your brightness set, we will now move to adjust our other settings. To move from brightness to contrast, you will press the enter button. Now your contrast setting is highlighted in red, indicating that the contrast setting can now be changed by rotating the jog dial. In our camera one view, I will change our contrast setting from 50% to 45% by rotating the jog dial counterclockwise. Once you've completed your contrast settings for your camera view, you will press the enter button to move to the next setting. We are now on the color setting. Here we will make an adjustment by changing our color setting from 50% to 75% by rotating the jog dial clockwise. This will help make up for the color loss when we increased our brightness setting. Once your color setting is complete, Press the enter button to move to the last camera setting option. The last setting is the sharpness setting. This is designed to provide a sharper view while viewing your DVR. While the manufacturer states that the sharpness setting is suitable for indoor use, our experience shows that it's also suitable for outdoor use. Seeing is believing and you can see the difference yourself by testing the sharpness setting on your cameras. Here you can see the view with sharpness turned off. I'll rotate the jog dial once to turn sharpness on, and now the sharpness is on. If you experience image flicker on an outdoor camera, you may want to test its sharpness setting. Buttons are pressed, turning it to off can reduce image flicker. With our camera one settings complete, let's change our view from our current single camera view back to our multi camera view by pressing the menu button. Then press the mode button. Now you can see the difference from our original default settings in comparison to our new settings. Camera view 2, which is the upper right camera, displays our original settings, while camera view 1, which is the upper left corner camera view, displays our new settings. Also note that camera view 2 has the sharpness setting in the off position, while camera view 1 has the sharpness setting in the on position. Now that you know how to configure your camera views, you can follow the same steps for each of your other cameras. The one difference is that you will need to select a different camera in step one. 
In this case, we worked on camera 1, so now you will need to move start working on camera 2. You do this by pressing the number 2 button on the camera selection pad. Remember, each setting is specific to your camera location. Whether it's bright, sunlit, or dark and shadowy, you can improve your video by adjusting your camera settings. Some really bad lighting situations cannot be overcome with these camera settings alone and may require specific cameras designed to handle dark or sun washed applications. Check out our technical support section of Eversight.com for helpful video presentations. If you have a question or a suggestion for a training video, give us a shout. Our support staff is always happy to hear from our customers. And be sure to visit us at Eversight.com for all your video and audio surveillance needs. Until next time.